Russian Rascals. Uh. What is up, subs and girls? My name is Jack Cypher, and today on Russian Rascals, we are going to be taking a look at the T-54E2 Shark. Now, characteristics of this tank, just hopping straight into it. You're basically looking at a miniature T110E5, the Tier 10 American Tech Tree Heavy. Now, this tank is an absolute beast. You can see it's almost the exact same as the T110E5. Uh, let's take a look here. Let's just get rid of that and take a look. So, yeah, you can see they're very, very similar. But this video is not about the E5. It is about the E2. Now, just quickly looking at it, this does carry the 105mm American gun. That does have about an average damage with your AP 310, APCR 220, and with HE, you're sitting at 440, which is a very, very nice number. Your pen... Pretty standard, not the highest, seemingly how it's an American. Also, you're not the fastest tank in the bunch, but those are not the characteristics of this tank that you're going to be looking for. The characteristics is that frontal armor. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a hold down tank. You have amazing frontal turret armor. You have amazing whole armor. Weak, weak ish lower plate because of that sloped armor, but it is absolutely amazing. What is the, the gun? 10 degrees of gun depression amazing amazing for hold down so we're gonna just do a couple live games of course if you like this kind of content make sure to hit that like comment and subscribe button hit us up in the comments below as i just actually said uh any link you'd ever need for this channel of course is in the description below on to the gameplay now we're gonna be platooning with riptide today because hey why not uh first time for everything but anyways so this tank honestly is one of the i would like to say overpowered in its class like this went under people's radar when it came into blitz and honestly it's kind of a shame because it's such such a strong tank now we're going to be pushing this a side of the map if the graphics do look a little bit different uh my apologies it's just messing around with different accounts and stuff so anyways just show you that gun depression right there look at that and also the camo i have to say the camo is looking pretty spiffy uh, I don't know what it is with Wargaming making a bunch of different camos with faces on them, but hey, I gotta say, they do a couple things right, especially with this one. Um, so anyways, we're going to be pushing on to the A side of the map. Of course, this is one of my favorite parts of this map. Not my favorite map in general, but we, we do make it work. Now, we can see that the enemy is in base B, which is going to allow us to know that they're probably not going to be pushing a whole bunch of tanks over here now rip is in the e6 or like how i like to call it the super goose so we are actually a very very good duo when it comes to a hold down position due to the fact they are both very strong hold down tanks with that e6 no the e1 having over i think 300 ooh, hello 300 millimeters of come on 300 millimeters of frontal armor but it's not about the e6 today today we're talking about the e too. so many different E's in the American lines it's kind of actually funny so J Panther over there and we have a whole bunch of enemies over there so I want to see if this J Panther is gonna poke back for us but I also want to see if we can get some shots into the enemy tanks over there for instance that FE 301 not wanting to poke for us so we're gonna push over to help our buddy rip over there the Yag Panther does go down but I want to stay wary of that annihilator for the fact that gun is very deadly I absolutely despise annihilators i hate seeing those things in games mainly when i'm in tier sixes don't exactly mind when i'm at tier eight because most tier eights are strong enough to deal with them in the first place uh but yeah not doing too much this game so far annihilator just shot so we are actually going to take that as our cue to push on the fv301 take taking a shot from the e75ts that is quite okay gonna push around to these pipes so that we are not like a full force target for the rest of their team hopefully that annihilator is not putting shots in us uh he did but we're just going to put on some auto aim get around this fv301 start to make our way towards his buddy while putting never mind he was taken out but that is okay as we can move on to the annihilator as you can see speed is not a factor that you should be looking forward to with this tank now it does have a very nice accurate gun it does not it's not going to work for you all the time but when it does work, oh boy, does it work. Now, I'm aiming in on the Annihilator. How do you like some of that, buddy? At 1,200 damage, respectable amount of damage. Nothing big, nothing small. See if we can get one more shot. No, just missed it. Probably could have snapped him, but was not willing to take the chance. 
Uh, anyways, so yeah, I'm not sure what the credit coefficient is going to go. Actually, yes, getting that snap. I know that was a risky shot, but I was willing to take it just to show you these this things on the dispersion, messing up my words there a little bit. Uh, so yeah, we're going to take out this Annihilator. I honestly don't even care if we get hit from him, but showing you now those amazing hold down skills with that awesome gun depression may be able to get one more shot into the back of him not even going to try the he max roll into the back of him i don't think that was our full-on max roll but we did well 2400 damage is a very respectable amount of damage getting us just the third class rip you did a really good job i'm not going to even mess with the american the enemy team we're gonna do one more battle in it just to see if we can get another good game in it of course rip is going to be playing with us again because that is the fun of having a platoon ladies and gentle folks so hit me up in the comments below if you have this tank what do you think of it i know fishy really wanted to see this video and we actually recorded a video on it but the file uh it kind of corrupted so sorry about that fishy we'll get back to that thing but anyways so we're actually i'm thinking we're gonna push b and you're like, Jack, you're a heavy, you don't push B. Well, let me explain. We're going to be pushing B mainly for the fact that we have that hold down capability. Now, if they go to that C side, we're getting out of dodge because they have complete open shots unless I'm hiding behind that little rock. But still, that makes it so they can just light me up. Now, if you do know me any bit, you know Canyon is my least favorite map. I absolutely despise Canyon for everything for every single way you can think of now good we do have the type 59 but that cheeky fv301 was able to get some nice little spots into us um tomahawk i'm not sure what you're doing i know that tank does have 10 degrees of gun depression over the side oof just not getting it into that small little spot of armor but alas uh all right so we are so low down that i think we actually can make this spot work for now, if that E75 and anybody that's over there with him does start to make an aggressive push, we're just we're just gonna ditch this spot. Uh, kind of fumbling with the controls there. Yeah, I'm not even gonna deal with him. Uh, not looking how we want it to. We're getting pushed on that side, and I think we're in the clear to actually make a move over here, just so we're not gonna be getting shots in from over there. Getting a hilarious shot off of the back of our tank. Uh, as I told you earlier, this thing is not well known for speed, and that is also going to affect your maneuverability. Of course, I'm in the water, which is not a good thing at all. Annihilator going to be shooting Pramo at us, which is, of course, going to lower his DPM. We are now sitting at half health, and I don't even think we've gotten a single shot in, but th things are going to be looking up for us, hopefully soon, as me and Rip are going to be making a move onto this Annihilator. Now, that was a dumb move on my part for pulling out on him like that, but Rip, being a great platoon mate, is going to be pulling in front of me and oh wow he can actually put shots into me but alas using that great frontal armor that we do he only tracked us and we're able to get a little snap into him one of the things i love about this tank so much is just that hilarious dispersion that you're able to use rip of course doing a great job of blocking the enemy's shots that's we've platooned so much if i ever wanted a platoon mate for a video it definitely would be ripped just for the fact that we know how each other plays so so much now t40 t34 3 hopefully going to be making a bad decision he's looking the other way now rip and i are going to be moving up on these guys because we're looking for justice uh for small amounts of hit points that are lost like e75 is putting a shot into me i pulled out a little aggressively there only because i thought that e75 was going to shoot rip hopefully rip is going to put a shot into that e75 ts just being able to take him out actually no the annihilator uh so now we're in a tricky spot because this t34 3 is wanting justice on our part uh wow jack fluffing shots all over the place this game is not going to be good as good as the last one but it is going to show you this places where this tank does not always perform at its best putting one putting one more miss into him, i guess you could say so that actually showed you some of the places this did not perform well which i'm glad that i was able to show you even though i completely nubbed it definitely no drills here anyways so you don't want to put this tank out on the flat ground just because you don't have it's a hold down tank it's hold down capabilities are absolutely stupendous but in the fact where they oh messing up my english it's not going to do well when people are looking above and beside you because it, you are absolutely going to get wrecked so make sure you don't do what i just did and get yourself 
absolutely destroyed by the enemy team only 917 damage an absolute rip for us now normally we were, would re-record that but i actually want to show you how this tank is not going to perform well so thank you riptide for helping us with the platoons you did a very good job thank you thank you very much Oh my gosh, who am I kidding? <laughs> Anyways, so that is the T-54E2. Very strong tank. Do you want to buy this? Absolutely, yes. Now, is it a very expensive price? Yes, yes, this is a very expensive tank. So if you do have 15k gold just wondrously sitting around, make sure to hit this thing in your garage because it is an absolute beast. One and all, ladies and gentlemen, subs and grubs, and all you mother's goats in between. My name is Jack Cypher, and I will see you on the next one. Hope you enjoyed, and...